Project Breed's a great example of what can happen when you bring together collaborators from a number of industries, um, give them something passionate to go and chase and, and empower them to be able to do that. Cystic fibrosis, or CF, is an inherited condition which affects about 11,000 people in the UK and about 80,000 people around the world. And the big problem with CF is the generation of very thick secretions, and those secretions can cause problems in the lungs, in the liver, and in the intestines. But actually the most important organ is the lungs, and having clogged up lungs leads to chronic infection chronic inflammation and lung damage, which unfortunately still leads to premature death. So I was two when I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis and um, it's become, it's part of my life, you know, I've had it the whole of my life. It's a genetic disorder that is, affects your whole body in different ways, um, but that's, that's me. <laughs> so the amount of treatment that someone with CF has to do every day is huge and we're talking hours. First thing, it's inhalers, nebulizers, medication, then it's physio, then it's blood sugar monitoring throughout the day to make sure that um, my bloods are, are stable because I've got um, CF diabetes as well. Then it's back to more exercising to clear my chest, which I do quite regularly at my local gym. Then it's back to more medication, then more nebulizers before bed and inhalers again. We try and see individuals with CF in clinic at CF centres around about every six weeks. And the problem with the current state of affairs is that we will ask people to attend to clinic whether they feel well or unwell. And this leads to a huge amount uh, of wasted days from school, from work and from holidays from people coming unnecessarily. So Project Breathe is an extraordinary collaboration between the Cystic Fibrosis Trust, ourselves here in Cambridge, Microsoft Research and Microsoft Digital, as well as Magic Bullet, to bring together a platform to allow individuals to monitor their health at home. My vision for Project Breathe is to improve quality of life for patients with CF. So it starts with empowering them to manage their own conditions, so providing them with devices to monitor their own condition themselves, to give them that instant feedback on data so that they can make changes on their day-to-day -day care. So a patient is going to collect data using wearable devices. They're also going to input some data as well, so we want to get their actual feedback about how they're feeling. Um, all that data is going to be then stored in the cloud and um, we're going to make that available through consent respecting patient privacy um, to clinicians. The immediate implementation will lead to us being able to deliver virtual clinics whereby one of our senior specialist nurses will have a video conference uh, with the individual with CF a week before their due clinic date and decide whether they need to come to clinic at all, whether they need to come but only see a physio or a dietitian, or whether actually they need a full clinic review and we hope that this will immediately decompress the clinic and equally importantly empower the people with CF to take control of their health and lead better more fulfilled lives without wasting it in hospital when they don't need to be there. I wouldn't say I have a lot of free time so a few years ago I had to stop work which if I could gain some time then obviously then I'd be able to sort of get back into the workplace and feel I had a little bit of a purpose which mental health wise as well you're thinking yeah it's okay being at home and being a mum and being a person but sometimes just to have a little purpose is quite important. We're not just proving out another concept we're not just doing a clinical evaluation we want to get something tangible into the hands of every patient with CF that brings meaningful change to them on a daily basis as well as improves their outcomes in the long run. Whilst we don't know exactly what Project Breathe is going to achieve, what we do know is that it's going to open up all kinds of opportunities to let us think about what if patients could actually take control of their own data and actually think about how they can improve their condition and their lives proactively. You know? So what if we could actually talk about preventative medicine? Um, all these possibilities will be highlighted through Project Breathe. So this could lead to a transformation in how we can manage people with CF. We here at the university are working in collaboration with Microsoft Research to harness their expertise in developing machine learning approaches to detect signals that may be hidden within the data. And by doing that, we hope to be able to understand which combination of different recordings 
will allow us the confidence to say, actually, you know what, this isn't the day-to-day -day wobble in your symptoms, uh, but actually is a start of an exacerbation before even you feel unwell. And that raises the possibility, at least, that we can be able to intervene earlier to try and prevent or shorten the exacerbation. Longer term, we hope that this is going to lead to better lung health. So I'm particularly excited about this project because I think it's a great example of how without a specific focus that has personal meaning, it's very difficult to, to have a whole team of people motivated behind any kind of project. We can have all the ideas, we can think of all the different technologies that we could leverage, but I think having personal passion um, behind the project is really what gels a team and makes it happen and gives people the, the tenacity to, to kind of overcome all the obstacles. And for me, that's important in any kind of work that we do, is having that personal connection and knowing that you're making a difference to someone's life. You know, I just spend my whole life cooking, cleaning and medication at the minute and it can become a bit demoralising because you just spend your whole life on repeat and sometimes I'd like to have a purpose again and feel that actually, do you know what, I've done something and made a difference and, you know, achieved something that actually I wanted to do a long time ago but it hasn't been possible. So there is this chance now that maybe in sort of a few years' time, I can get back to being me again.